In October 1954, a friendship link between the London borough of Camberwell and the Paris Ville de Sceaux was formed. One of the features of this scheme is an exchange visit plan so that the peoples of the two boroughs may get to know each other better by spending their holidays with their friends across the channel. To find out what Sceaux had to offer visitors from Camberwell, the South London Film Society sent a unit to the continent. Although it is part of Paris, so has all the character of a small French town, the population of about 10,000. Its many small rows converge on a junction near the town hall, which is not unlike Camberwell Green. Just as Camberwell lies due south of London, so lies about four miles south of the French capital, and the main Paris Orleans road passes through the outskirts. From a nearby hill, two famous landmarks can be seen. The chateau in the Parc de Sceaux and the Lycée Marie Curie. The chateau is now used as a museum and it is here that a music festival is held each year. The park occupies about 500 acres and has some magnif magnificent lakes where fishermen can spend their leisure hours in the beautiful surroundings. The famous water cascades attract visitors from all over France. The Lycée Marie Curie is the most modern of the four schools in Sceaux and is the equivalent of an English grammar school. Naturally enough, it is named after Madame Curie, who, with her husband, discovered radium. They lived in this delightful house, and they are now buried in the cemetery nearby. We notice the way the French name their roads after national heroes, and the marks of former nameplates indicating the substitution of persons in current favour are frequently visible. Paul Cudeur was a leader of the French resistance movement, who was murdered on this spot by the Germans during the occupation. Our first call on arriving in So was at the town hall, where we had the honour of being met by the mayor, Monsieur Edouard Dubreau, and two of the deputy mayors. We had much to discuss as we were gathering information for our film on French local government, which we planned as a sequel to the film on the government of a London borough. The council has an extensive building program and we were taken to see blocks of flats and private houses in various stages of completion. The flats are of conventional design in contemporary styles but some of the houses were of many shapes and sizes.
Though the roads are well maintained, we saw several pavements in a poor state of repair. We also saw evidence of the fact that the council was aware of this. We were most impressed with the size and clarity of the road signs. But the names of streets could have been a little larger. As is usual in France, the names on the shops indicated the goods that they sold. The baker, milk, butter, eggs, cheese, groceries and so on. posters and advertisements were just as informative and brightly coloured. Some of them were not unfamiliar to us. So is served by the Paris Metro, the equivalent of London's underground. And from the station at So, it takes about 20 minutes to the centre of Paris. The cost, 50 francs, which is about a shilling, to any part of the city. And the last train returns well after midnight. On Sunday afternoons, Parisians come to so for the famous open-air dance restaurant. Here, under the trees, they can dance or sit with the drink listening to the band. And in the evening, dinner is served, all for an inclusive charge of about one pound. The Film Society thoroughly enjoyed its stay in so and commends it to anybody contemplating a continental holiday. Here it is possible to lay in a typical French town free of the bustle of city life, with its trees, flowers and delightful countryside. By staying in a pension, expensive Paris hotel bills are avoided, and French home cooking can be enjoyed. And yet Paris is so close and easily accessible that those wishing to see the lights and the sound of the nightlife can do so quite readily from so.
we are indeed fortunate that there are facilities for such a delightful holiday in the Ville de Sceaux. <laughs>